Mashhad is one of the most significant religious centers in the world. Mashhad means the place of martyrdom. The city was designated Mashhad because that's where the 8th Shia Imam, Imam Reza, was martyred and laid to rest. Amrza's holy shrine, one of the most favorite destinations for Shia Muslims and among the most sacred places for them to visit, attracting 25 to 30 million tourists every year. Referred to by pilgrims as the Haram, the shining dome made of gold and a cluster of minarets in blue decorate the skyline. From where I was standing in Azadi courtyard, right in front of the main entrance to the mausoleum of Imam Reza, the eighth Imam of Shia Muslims, I couldn't help but admire the marvelous buildings. Like other pilgrims shrouded in a spiritual atmosphere, the uplifting experience of my Mashhad pilgrimage reached its climax when I touched the Zari, the gold lattice burial chamber that enshrines the tomb of Imam Reza. The current Sadi is the fifth, and the older ones are at the Haram's main museum. This is the third one made of steel. It was used till the late 1950s, then it was replaced with a new one made of gold and silver. Almost twice as big as the third one, the fourth Sadi has verses of the Holy Quran inscribed on it an old tradition, just like the first one made of wood that dates back to the Safavid period. Today, only its gold decorations remain. The Aslan Quds Museum also includes other antique objects that were previously used in different parts of the Holy Shrine. There are also objects related to the architecture of the mausoleum, a building that dates back to the 9th century. Haste avaliye ashiyae ganjine Aslan Quds Razavi ba ashiyae nazri va ehtayi mardom bud. But aside from the exquisite collection in different sections of the museum, I personally found the photography section the most interesting. The history of Mashhad in brief, and how an entire city developed around the holy shrine over the centuries. Shrine is the largest mosque in the world by dimension and the second largest in capacity. The golden dome of the mausoleum is surrounded by 28 roofed buildings called ravok or porticos and nine courtyards. The complex also includes vast prayer halls, a medical center, and a guest house for pilgrims. Most of the job here is done by its 24,000 volunteer workers. وقف ریشه در ماندگاری داره و محبت از یک طرف وقف ابراز محبت هست به خاندان اهل بیت اسمت و تهارت علیه اومد سلام که اینکه افراد دلشون میخواد به نوعی ارادت خودشون محبت خودشون رو به حضرت رضا علیه سلام در اماکن متبرکه نشون بدن نکته دوم در وقف ماندگاریه افراد احساس میکنن که به جسم که نمیتونن حضور در تاریخ داشته باشن سعی میکنن به عملشون بمونن در تاریخ
ما 13 میلیون برگ سند مکتوب در این مرکز نگهداری میکنیم که از نظر قدمت معتبرترین مرکز در ایران هست مهوریت این اسناد هم مربوط به آستان قدس رضوی تاریخچه آستان قدس رضوی موقوفات آستان قدس رضوی Some of the oldest documents, records and photos, as well as 35 millimeter films available in Iran, are being kept here at the document center. A must-see for anyone interested in history. But what is a memorable trip to a city like Mashhad without a memento to remind you of it? The actual nature of a pilgrimage to Mashhad calls for shopping for religious gifts. Stretching nearly three kilometers, Bazar -e Reza, right outside the premises of the Holy Shrine, is the oldest bazaar in the city, and obviously the right place to go to. It is lined with over 2,000 shops that offer all the things you may need for your prayers and more. Prayer mats. Beats. And the Islamic covering, the chador. Of course, black is considered more formal. But if you think that the chador has to be in black, you're wrong. A glance at these shops, and I quickly realized that choosing is by no means going to be an easy task. an essential part of the Iranian diet. And the pièce de résistance, saffron. Quality test to make sure it's the best. Perfect aroma. And rings. and rings in particular are considered the most favorite souvenirs from Mashhad. It has been recommended that ladies especially wear jewelry when performing their daily prayers. What you buy here from Mashhad is considered consecrated and therefore extremely valuable. Traveling to Mashhad is a spiritually uplifting journey in many ways. One thing no pilgrim would want to miss is the congregational prayers and those who take part feel honored to be at one of the oldest and most beautiful religious monuments in the world. familiar scene right here in the yard of Imam Reza's shrine. You can see thousands of pilgrims who have come all the way just to perform prayers here, just to get closer to God, just to get more spiritual. This is part of the rituals of the pilgrims who come here to Mashhad, to Imam Reza's shrine. To fully savor its glory, you have to come back to the shrine at night, when the orderly overload of dusk prayer time turns into a fairy tale calm as pilgrims perform nocturnal rituals. And if you stay long enough, around 2 a.m., volunteer workers line up with their long bristle brooms. Cleaning the Angalab courtyard is not without some charm. Pilgrims join them in the prayer before sweeping the yard begins and take the most advantage of a unique spiritual experience. Gisum Shah Ahmadi for Iran.